get this onto YouTube tonight. All right, man, we're gonna do this one more time, man. I got some funnings, I got some water, and I'm just ready to go, man. Okay? Can I help you? I hope so. I found this old shoe repair ticket while cleaning out my attic. I thought I'd lost it during a move. It's for a pair of shoes I brought in almost 10 years ago. Let me check. Yep, here they are. Oh, that's great. I thought they'd be long gone by now. So, can I have the shoes? They'll be ready Thursday. Huh? You know, I just don't know what else to do. Whenever I go home after we've been out drinking, I turn the headlights off before I get into the driveway. I shut off the engine and I coast into the garage. I take my shoes off before I go into the house. I sneak up the stairs. I get undressed in the bathroom. I ease into bed. And still, my wife yells at me for staying out so late. Well, you're obviously taking the wrong approach. I screech into the driveway, slam the door, storm up the steps, throw my shoes into the closet, jump into bed, rub my hands on my wife's ass and say, hey, let's do it. And she's always sound asleep. <gasps> There's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. Prepare yourself to be a widow. Your husband will die a violent and horrible death this year. Will I get away with it? Hey, did these turkeys get any bigger? <laughs> no, ma'am. They're dead. Oh. <laughs> Seems like all Bob and I do anymore is fight. It has me so upset. I've lost 20 pounds. Then why don't you just leave him? Oh, not yet. I'd like to lose at least another 15 pounds first. Excuse me, I seem to have lost track of my wife here in the store. Could you please talk to me for a couple of minutes? Now why would I want to do that? Because whenever I talk to a beautiful woman, my wife appears out of nowhere. Oh, man, I had the worst Freudian slip the other day. Just what the heck is a Freudian slip, anyway? You know, it's when you mean to say one thing, but you say something else that shows what you're really thinking about, right? Like, like the other day, I was at the airport, and this 
really sexy lady was helping me. Instead of asking her for two tickets to Pittsburgh, I asked her for two tickets to Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I know what you're talking about. Just this morning, I was having breakfast with my wife. I wanted her to pass me the orange juice. But instead, I said, woman, you have ruined my life. You've moved your mother in with us. You spend money like there's what? no tomorrow. <sighs> your dog wants to Who kill is this you. guy? I need to run an obituary. Okay, madam. That'll be 50 cents a word. 50 cents? Just make it Roger Brown died. I'm sorry, but we have an eight-word minimum for obituaries. Okay, then let's do... Roger Brown died. 2002 Ford pickup for sale. What the hell are you doing? See? Didn't I tell you? He doesn't know a thing about sex! I'll knock it off, you guys! Oh, no! No, not my mother's lamp! Alright, YouTubers, it's time for another installment of what I hate. I hate clear plastic packaging. I hate game shows that involve more than a hundred people at a time, man. I hate meatless meat. I hate photos of other people's babies. Dude. I hate guitars that tune on the wrong end, dude. I hate when people touch my LCD screen. As if stabbing it with their finger is going to help me see what they're pointing at. I hate dogs that are smaller than cats. I hate guys who fall for male enhancement spam. I hate fly swatters that are shaped like a hand. I hate bumper stickers. I hate the sound metal baseball bats make when they connect with the ball. I hate the guy who decided to cancel Firefly. You suck, dude. I hate jogging. I hate droopy trousers. Pull up your pants, man. No one wants to see that. <laughs> Gee, stop it. Sorry. <laughs>